This week, the hotel inspector hits rock bottom. Cracks are everywhere. Imagine 3,000 beard-up men all thumping their chests. There are bits of detritus around. Whose job is that to clear it's the up? the boys when they come in. Am I going to die in my bed tonight? It is like a crack heads den. I'm not going to stay tonight. The Green Man, a 12-bedroom pub and hotel in Wembley, northwest London, run by 45-year-old Australian Mal Preedy. Our most popular drink's probably lager. Hello. Mal took over the football-friendly hotel 14 years ago, bringing his unique Antipodean charm with him. No, I don't show anyone to their rooms when they check in. I just give them the key, tell them where it is, and up they go. I, I like to make sure that we can offer the best customer service possible. Breakfast. <laughs> we don't do breakfast. With the world-famous stadium just a stone's throw away, <laughs> Mao and his team have managed to score with supporters. Sometimes we can serve between five and 6,000 pints. If there was a, a competition for beer drinking in English, we win hands down. <laughs> but while Mao might be coining it in in the pub, Upstairs, his bedrooms haven't gone down quite so well. Some of the rooms leave a little bit to be desired. When people do complain about this room, I just say, well, you know, it, you know, you've got to think about what you're paying, you know, you're not staying in the Ritz. And recent online reviews have relegated the hotel to bottom of the league. To be honest, you do get quite a lot of complaints. Close to Wembley, nothing else good to say. Uncomfortable beds are bath panels that are broken. They won't say anything to your face, but they, th they think it's OK to go away and then leave a bad review. Atrocious. Worst hotel ever. I think it's a bit over the top. Despite a respectable trade around match days and concerts, Mal's profits have taken a dive. My rent is 100,000 a year. I haven't been making enough money to be able to invest money back in the business. And if he can't find a way to turn things around soon, the green man could find itself permanently in the red. I'm in a difficult situation financially at the moment. If there was a storm around the corner, we'd be in trouble. The green man is my life, and uh, it has to work. Uh, I mean, there, there is no other option. Enter the hotel inspector. Can industry expert Alex Polizzi help dig Mal out of his financial hole? To get a taste of the green man experience for herself, Alex will stay the night. Hmm. Not the most encouraging reception area. Are you checking in or out? Checking in, please see a member of staff in the hotel bar. Fine. All a bit sad and a bit tatty. Right. Unenthused by first impressions, Alex goes in search of her host. Hello, oh. hello. Hello. You're Mal. I'm Mal. You must I'm be Alex. Alex. How are you? Very All right. nice to see you. Thank Looks you good. very much. Yeah. You had a busy day yesterday, We didn't did you? have a busy day yesterday, yeah. It wasn't too bad at all. Mm -hmm. Would you normally be working on the day after a busy night? No. <laughs> OK, so I'll make allowances. OK, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, rooms. What room have you given me? We are in room 12 tonight, Alex. OK. OK. Yeah? You ready? Shall I take you up? Yes, right. please. And away we go. Mm, let's Just go. this way. Thank you. The Green Man has 12 ensuite bedrooms, all provided on a strictly room only basis. I used to do breakfast, but I stopped doing breakfast uh, quite a while ago. Sometimes I was getting a chef in, and then no one would come down for breakfast. Thank you. Here we come. Okay. And Thank here we are. What do you sell this room for tonight? 
Tonight, I would sell this room for £39. Or if there's a concert or something like that, I, I would increase the price of the room. Considerably? Yeah. Considerably. Mm -hmm. Up to? 125 Good Lord, darling. And you, no wonder you've got a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Room 12's a big room. I think if I'm looking at the rooms overall, she's not in the best, she's not in the worst. She's in one of the, probably the average rooms. Well, I keep thinking I have reached the nadir of my hotel experiences, but this is frankly a new low. <laughs> I mean, there is cheap and there is unsafe. Look at that crack in the ceiling. Cracks are everywhere. The patches of damp everywhere. Overall, I would say the decor's not too bad up there. This half hanging off the wall. Cable ties <laughs> on the cupboard door to make sure that they keep closed. Thoughtful of them. Mal seems like a nice man. I'm surprised that he has the bare-faced gall to show me into this room. If I was in his shoes, I'd have been incredibly embarrassed. <laughs> and the glamorous theme continues with the broken bath panel. It is like a joke. It is like a crackhead's den. Even the basin is cracked. I'm amazed, 120 quid on a night when he can charge it. It looks like an earthquake's happened. You know, am I going to die in my bed tonight is the kind of thing that I have to worry about at this point. And the dingy corridors do little to lighten Alex's mood. Well, this is really bad. Imagine coming, being shown to your room six and being faced with this, not only the wallpaper peeling, but one whole strip completely peeled. You know, I'm always surprised. I think I've seen it all, but there's still things that can surprise me. I'm not changing anything for her. She can come and see it as she, you know, sees it, and then, and then uh, she can advise us from there, really. It's still tragic, but it's better than my room. Well, I can quite clearly see there is no mattress protector on this mattress. You can feel literally every spring, my goodness. I know you get what you pay for, but do you have to really give people the worst possible experience for their money? Outside, Alex discovers the green man is suffering a hangover from the night before. <laughs> This is their car park. Look at the mess. Does anyone ever come and pick things up? I'm not one that worked myself into the ground. I don't believe in that, because I don't think you do anybody any favours by overworking. Very untidy rubbish area. Doesn't give a good impression. Green Man has stood here as a public house since 1722, which must be the last time it was decorated. <laughs> And the beer garden, a haven for footy fans, also gets a kicking. It just looks manky. Imagine how awful this place must be on a match day with kind of 3,000 beard up men all thumping their chests. Oh, I mean, at some point, Mal must have felt passionately about it. He's been here 14 years. I mean, maybe he's just given up. He can't be bothered anymore. The dreary exterior and disheartening decor has driven Alex to a depressing deduction. <sighs> you're clearly not passionate about the room side of things. So you're asking me to care when somehow you've cared less about the rooms than about anything else. Were you not a bit embarrassed when you walked me into a bedroom? Um. No, not really anymore. You're immune to it? A little bit, yeah. Do you think it's correct to call this a green man pub and hotel? Well, yes. Uh, you don't serve breakfast? You don't serve... No, we don't. No? No. Um, you don't have a receptionist? You no. don't have any kind of hotel services? You're a pub with rooms. It's the fabric of it that's been allowed to really, really deteriorate, and it makes me feel slightly unsafe. The lighting in the corridors, 
the fact that there's so many bulbs out. I'm not going to stay tonight. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll help you sort out the problems. But I don't want to stay in that room. But I hope you can see why. Uh, no, at least you've told me up front, which is fine. I haven't got a problem with that. OK, I'll see you in the morning. See you, Alex. Bye-bye. After dropping her devastating bombshell, Alex begins her evacuation. If I'm honest, it wasn't what wasn't like I wasn't expecting it. And to be honest with you, I, I had a funny feeling she wasn't going to stay, so... I admire the attitude he has towards life, not allowing anything to stress him out too much. But to be successful, you do have to care. And somehow, that doesn't shine through with him. As Alex exits, pursued by beer, Mal prefers to view his glass as half full. She's still prepared to help, so we're looking forward to tomorrow, really. Can Alex shake Mal into action? I was planning on doing the whole lot at the same time, you know. What, when you won the lotto? We had a fire. It was only yeah. two weeks ago. We two weeks, be... I know. It's, a long, it's not really long enough to do anything, really, is it? To be honest with you, I, I had a funny feeling she wasn't going to stay. Just glad that she said she's still prepared to help. I'm sure she'll pick up on the B word, breakfast, which I don't want to really get involved in. With the most important meal of the day off the menu, Alex decides to take matters into her own hands. Good morning, good morning. Morning, morning. I know you didn't serve breakfast, so I've bought you coffee and a croissant. Thank you very much. Come and sit down. So, now, I'm sorry I didn't say last night. I went home feeling rather guilty. But I have been thinking about what we're going to do today. You're a very genial host, so I somehow have to shake your composure. <laughs> shake away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're very zen, you're, okay. aren't you? Although I admire that enormously, I think I need to make you realise what a big hill we have to climb. Because I think you've been here so long that, in a way, you're blind to some of it. Yeah, that could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of want to shock you a little bit. OK, fine. Does that sound good? Yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. Sip of my coffee to strengthen yeah. my resolve first. <laughs> Alex believes Mal needs to open his eyes to the green man's failings, starting with that unappealing welcome. What does this say? The Grand Poo and Hotel. <laughs> yes, the Grand Poo and Hotel. <laughs> As we speak, I'm having some sign writers staying in the hotel tonight, and I'm hoping that they're going to do it, fix it for me tomorrow morning. Okay. 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 You had quite a busy night before I came. But things like the bits and bobs of detritus around, whose job is that to clear up? It's the boys up? when they come in. OK. And the hotel's no-go zone needs some affirmative action. I always love a bit of hazard tape. It's reassuring, I find. But we had a fire. Right. OK. It was only yeah. two weeks ago. We yeah, haven't so cleared it yet. No, we two weeks. Be... I know it's a long. It's not oh. really long enough to do anything, really, is it? It's expensive to clear rubbish, you know. I know, Donnie, but look at what that looks like. I wouldn't come here with my family. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't particularly want to sit in your garden on this lovely day at the moment. Alex's tough talking has clearly left Mal shaken. Can she now stir him into action in the reception area? This is what you base the hotel name on. Now, I have no problem with this kind of signage, but does it have to look like this? The information is good. It's just how you present it okay. that's bad. You've got this bell here that doesn't, doesn't work. do anything. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to make sure that all this feels like you're coming to stay somewhere that's safe, that's not a DOS house, basically, yeah? OK. Next, the bedrooms. Alex believes it's time for a serious wake-up call. I, I can't understand why someone, well, a well-presented, clever bloke like you, how you can have let a room get into this mess. I mean, it's literally somewhere to lay your head, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come into the bathroom. I think Mal might be starting to feel embarrassed. But, you know, some of those problems in those rooms are glaring. 
some... You've, this has been painted and hasn't been painted completely. This is possibly the mankish shower curtain I've seen ever. You, you're showing me stuff I've not noticed. I can walk in this bathroom and I, would, I wouldn't see that. Would you really not? No. It's kind of difficult for me to get my head around how you've let it get in this state. Him saying things like, oh, well, I would never have noticed that shower curtain. You know. This is one of my least favourite corridors, partly because of how dingy and dim it is, but also because you pitch up at this door, you're dreading what you're going to find when you walk in, don't I? I've never had it redecorated properly you... because I was planning on doing the whole lot at the same time, you know. And I just... What, when you won the lotto? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I suggest we ask everyone who stays to take a piece of wallpaper with them as they go. At least that would be one quick way of stripping it. So, exhibit A is, I mean, the handprint marks all over this wall. It looks like someone has been struggling to find their way out. Honestly, to do a coat of paint, darling. And I know you say there's water damage, but what are we going to do about it? We're going to leave it like that forever? No. 39 quid. You might feel even slightly hard done by at that price. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. You think they deserve this? No, this I don't think they deserve this <laughs> at all. <laughs> Is this a room to be proud of? OK, it's not really, no. I'll be honest with you, there were some things she showed me that I hadn't even seen because I've been off the ball. You know, I've not noticed myself. So from that point of view, it was good. If Mal is serious about getting the green man back in the black, Alex needs him to follow her three-point plan. So I think the first thing we've got to do is to challenge your complacency. And you've just let the rooms fall so far behind. Your attitude is you get what you pay for. But I want you to see that it's worth making them nice, it's worth charging more, because there is a market for good, cheap rooms, and there are quite a lot of them around. Amazing rooms for under 60 quid a night. We'll see about that. I'm not convinced, but yeah. Okay, well, I know, but it's going to be a pleasure to me to show you. I would like you to tackle a few tasks for me. Things like the signage at the desk. You know, all you need to do is just smarten it up, darling. Okay? Mm -hmm. I need to provide you or someone else with a checklist. Or, you know, it, the bulb by the bed working is the grouting clean. A whole list of things. If Mal charges more for his rooms, he must also improve his customer service, offering punters a better start to their day. I'm going to make sure by the end of my time here show you a cheap, efficient way of providing a decent in-room breakfast that will take no extra staffing. Finally, Alex wants Mal to look beyond Wembley Stadium's big-ticket paydays and appreciate the potential for his room's year-round revenue. I think you don't realise how much there is that's great in London these days. But you're ten minutes away from Baker Street by Tube. You know, you should be forging links with tourist attractions. We just need to make sure that you get known as somewhere fantastic to stay on the tourist trail as well. And by doing that, we'll put an end to these shoddy reviews that you keep on getting. To help promote the green man to a wider and more discerning clientele, Alex and her design team will help renovate the dark and dingy corridor and make over two of Mal's misfiring bedrooms. My aim is to give Mal a template for the rest of the hotel. I don't need it to be posh, I don't need it to be super smart, but it does need to be clean and it needs to be contemporary. She's made me realise a lot of things, and I know it sounds stupid, but sometimes you do get caught in a hole and get in a bubble and things like that. As the hotel inspector departs, a newly invigorated Mal summons the energy to tackle the green man's rescue plan. Here it is. Got the E. With the countdown on to win Alex's approval, the vowels are in place. But there's still that missing consonant. Uh, just got to wait for the guys to come back next week uh, with a new B. While Alex's team set about giving the bedrooms a new lease of life, Mal manages to lighten the mood in the corridor. Up here, there you go. That's why. And we've got a faulty light bulb. I've changed it now. 
With the rescue plan gathering momentum, Mal creates his bedroom checklist with the help of barman Neil. Peter. Peter. Kettle. Make sure we've got a kettle. Kettle. I'm asking Mal to make up a checklist for his bedrooms because it's an easy way to make sure that everything is tackled and nothing is missed off. The wardrobe. And that it, it shuts properly, which this one doesn't. It does make a lot of sense. For it's something very simple that I've not really thought about, to be honest with you. Bedside lamps. <laughs> <laughs> make sure we got some. It's showing me how long I've been out of the rooms for, that I haven't been checking them. None of the windows are broken. Yep. It's a bit cringing sometimes when I, I see things now and I'm thinking, it's my own fault that I've let it into that state. Alex is also looking for some improvements to the front desk. First impressions really do count, and anyone walking into that reception area is going to have a sinking of the heart and a feeling of dread. With the promise of providing his guests with a warmer welcome, Mal hits the shops with Neil. Can you imagine walking to the Green Man and seeing that then? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> OK, I'll get that. How many do you want? When it comes to interior designs, I have absolutely no skills whatsoever. Well, the skills I have, you could write on the back of a postage stamp. This would be for the um, window sills and the, and the skirting boards. You understand what I'm saying? No. Right. You can't walk over skirting boards. My main hope for Mal is that he is going to realise that he's got a very nice product and it could be even nicer. I'm going to go with your superior knowledge on this. I'll let you pick, as long as you don't pick that one there. Let's stick a little meerkat <laughs> by the side. See, these plants are on your head. If Alex doesn't like these, it's on you. <laughs> your I'll tell it was you. <laughs> The green man appears to be on the way up. My gosh, go from zero to hero. But will the rescue plan unravel before it's even begun? Blue rolls, mattress mm. protector, pillow protector. Have you started doing it yet? No. The hotel inspector's back. With Mal's recent rash of activity, has he been able to scratch Alex's itch? The bee is still missing but at least one of the letters is up. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Mal's done with the reception. I hope that he's feeling bullish and enthusiastic. Hello. Alex, how are you? OK. Good, very happy. I'm very happy too, yeah. Um, I don't know where to start. I mean, I love the, I love the carpet. Yeah, it's excellent, isn't it? It goes with the, uh, with the grey... Paint. Paint, yes. Yes. <laughs> Can't this wipe. is looking lovely. Thank you very much. It looks so professional. Coming in now, you get the impression that you're coming to stay somewhere that actually doesn't terrify you. It's an impressive start, but can Mal deliver in the bedrooms? To help him raise his standards, Alex wanted him to introduce a daily checklist. Just because he's running a pub doesn't mean he should ignore his rooms, and he's losing out on a very valid source of revenue. So... What new procedures are you putting in place for your bedrooms? Well, this is what we've done so far. This is for the cleaner. We've got the heater, yeah. just to make sure the heater's working. Kettle, tea and coffee facilities. I'm fairly confident with the checklist, yeah. I think we've covered most things on there. Lights and bedroom lamps. Very good. Again, they're working. Bed, soap dispenser, clean towels. Mal's ticking most of the boxes, but Alex still manages to flush out some missing detail. Lou rolls. OK, yeah. I'll put Mattress them. protector, pillow protector. OK. Have you started doing it yet? No. When, when, will, when, uh, when will you start? Soon. Once so, the new room's done. Then we're going to start up from there. I'm really pleased with that, darling. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm happy. I'm a happy, <laughs> happy woman. With the bedrooms on the road to recovery, Alex wants Mal to increase his non-match day rates to closer to £60 a night but that will mean reassessing his get-what-you-pay-for pricing structure. There's a lot of budget hotels that have opened recently, not only in the area, but in Greater London as a whole. I want to show him some of them and challenge his perceptions of his own place. I still can't believe £59 somewhere in central London, but we'll wait and see. The hotel in question is East London's newly opened Cubic. Converted from an old office building, the state-of-the-art interior challenges the stereotypes of what budget accommodation can provide. 
This is under £60 a night. Mm, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. It's, to me, it's not bad. It's, it's a little bit better than the Green Man would you just suggest? A bit, yeah, just a yes. bit. Yes. Yeah. Because it's all prefab. They just get it here on site and slot it all together. They have 171 rooms and they have 96% occupancy. Mm. I'm not surprised, is it? It's good. It can be done. It can be done that you can get a budget hotel at a, a very good price. The simplistic nature of it, I don't think it's impossible to do. And the sleek, modern lines don't only deliver on design. They give their cleaners 20 minutes to clean this room. The simpler it is, the easier it is to clean. The benefits seem to be sinking in. But if Mal's going to charge more for his rooms, he'll also need to follow the Cubic's grab-and-go breakfast solution. And what you get is two juices, mm -hmm. two pieces of fruit and two breakfast bars. Now, that is included in the £59 price. Bit of an eye-opener. Very, yep. With Mal's barrier to breakfast being broken down, Alex seizes the moment back at the Green Man. So, darling, breakfast. Yeah? What I've tried to do is to ensure that there is as little wastage as possible. All this comes frozen, and all of it has a four-day shelf life. Mal has always complained that it's impossible to provide breakfast without adding on an extra member of staff, which is an expense he doesn't want. But he does need to be generous to his guests, and if he really isn't offering them anything, he's going to come off the loser. A porridge and a muffin and a granola bar are all more or less the same at around the 82p mark. I quite like how neat and tidy that looks. Warming to the theme, Mal adds his own creative touch. And I would have definitely porridge. Yeah, great. Croissants. And everybody relates croissants to breakfast. And and two of maybe all of that. Yeah. Oh <gasps> my I'm gosh! Go to work. From zero to hero. <laughs> there you go. And you can leave that in the room, mm -hmm. and people will love you. It's really that simple. Just then when it. you're pleased with how it looks. You can take a photo. Make sure that the staff always do it the same way every time. Shall I take a photo while we're here? Oh, look at that. I love there how you proactive go. you're being, darling. Alex has shaken Mal into action, and preparations begin for the newly designed breakfast to go. Two porridge, granola bar, two OJ, two croissants, two spoons, two butter, and two jam. The hotel inspector's rescue plan seems well in hand. Mal's buying into his budget accommodation, delivering a more caring customer experience. But there's still one more task. You have your current fairly loyal and reliable clientele. Whenever you've got a football match, you're full, but you want to move up in the world. And I think it's very important that you now make an effort to go out and start trying to forge some links with people who haven't been here before. Right. With her design team's bedroom makeover nearing completion, Alex wants Mal to organise a relaunch event for the freshly minted Green Man. So he hits the streets to drum up some custom. First stop, Fountain Studios, home to hit TV shows with plenty of potential punters. I've got a hotel that's only just up the road here, and we're currently doing a big refurbishment project, which is why I'm here today. We have hotels needed for our staff, also audience members of about 700 people. Next up, nearby Neesden and a Hindu temple attracting thousands of visitors from around the world. Hello. Within our Hindu calendars, there are an average between 1,000 to 2,000 people attending our temple. Divine intervention might be required for Mal's last stop as he looks to re-establish links with a road transport training company. Henry stopped recommending us because of complaints from delegates that had stayed here. The rooms didn't help them, I suppose, study and things like that, you know, so... And what All I would right. like to do is to invite you to the Green Man in the view to hopefully we can start working together well, again. Well, if the rooms are improved, Mal, you know me, you know, we've got my word, I'll send more people over there. Mao's managed to convince three companies to attend his relaunch. But if the green man's going to turn around its bad reviews, he'll need more than just a slick sales pitch. With the relaunch fast approaching, Mao's up bright and early, getting his house in order. 
But as the hotel inspector returns, there's just one thing on his mind. The anticipation of seeing the new rooms really does give me a new uh, buzz. I'm hoping that I can start to reproduce that in all the other rooms in the hotel. They're going to look stunning. Such a break from the past. A very large step in the right direction. Morning, Alex. How are you? Lovely to be here again. The dark and dingy corridors that frightened Alex into fleeing the hotel are now a distant memory, replaced by a fresh, clean look. All we've done here is a lick of paint and new lampshades, but I think you'll agree the effect is quite startlingly different. Very startling, much brighter. The damp, cracked bedroom has given way to a warm, welcoming space with contemporary colours and individual touches that will appeal to a more select clientele. Wow. Do you like it? Uh, honestly, I love it. I really do. Oh, my God. It's a transfer. We did a few very space-saving things, like the hanging wardrobe. We've got the, the same number of beds, but I've made sure that they have headboards so we can try and avoid the greasy marks on the wall. Easy clean, looks very white, it looks bright. New carpet and these lovely new lights. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> wow. And I'm dying to see the bathroom. All right, let's go. People are now going to walk in here and think they're getting a lot of bang for their buck. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that will allow you to start raising your room rates. I think I definitely can now. The fresh, clean and serene colour scheme continues next door. So, darling, what can I say? It's the same, exactly the same as the other room, exactly the same furniture. I just think that this is quite a good way forward for them. I, I think it's, a, it's definitely a way forward. You know, it's not going to be too expensive to do no. the rooms like this. The new open rooms are a real success, but there are still some skeletons in the closet that need to be dealt with. I'm springing an awful surprise on you. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Which is that downstairs I have some of your bad reviewers. Uh. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's such it's a mean thing to do. One of the things I wrote on my review was that I felt the place was unfit for uh, human occupation. We weren't expecting too much, but we were expecting it to be uh, clean and hygienic, which unfortunately it wasn't. It was like walking into a cesspit. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. So, uh, these are the gentlemen. Oh, welcome back to the cesspit. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they, they were here for a concert at the arena. At the arena, And, and yeah. they stayed right. two okay. nights. Hopefully, we're going to show them that this place has really changed and that they can now write a decent review. In terms of the location, I thought it was fantastic. Um, but you do expect um, a decent level of cleanliness, and I don't think we got that here. We arrived and the room just wasn't up to standard. Um, you know, holes in the wall, you know, stains on the bed. Not, not something we wanted, really. I wouldn't bring my kids there because that was a bit of a... Yeah, a just a bit trap, sloppy, uh, sort yeah. of lazy. Yeah. Yeah. For Mal, the reviewer's comments are a stark reminder of just how far the green man had fallen. I can hardly understand where they're coming from. It probably woke me up a bit, really, you know. And with the VIP guests on their way, it's an indication of just what's at stake for today's event. There was a time when it wasn't great, but I'm hoping maybe, you know, if, if the rooms are good enough, maybe we'll send our trainers there again. I wouldn't want to recommend something which I didn't feel wasn't uh, significant and right for the job. Mal is certainly delivering on hospitality, putting on a good spread, as Alex tries to egg him on. So, darling, a few people we have yep. to show rooms off to. You're going to welcome them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I will. Show yeah. your hospitality. Right. Go on, lead on. Let's go. Well, welcome, everybody. I'm glad you all took time to come today. I really appreciate the time that you've given us. Um, and it's... Uh, there's a lot of people here that I, I haven't seen before. So I'm really looking, at showing, looking forward to showing you our new rooms upstairs that we've recently renovated. Um, I'm sure you're all really going to be impressed with them. Is that right? A slightly stuttering start, but hopefully the newly refurbished bedrooms will speak for themselves. First thoughts? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. Very matching. Oh, London bus. Mm -hmm. Which what? is really Some... airy, because you've yeah. got the, the high ceilings as yeah. well, which yes. is your, it's total plus. But... Mm -hmm. Who thought up the design? 
Really? I'd love to say it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure that Mal is showing a real sense of pride in the rooms. Great design of the wardrobe, doesn't it? Yeah. We used to have wardrobes in here before and they'd come out to about here. Yeah, so, yeah. it just gives you much more space, doesn't it? Very nice. The local yeah. businesses seem Imagine impressed. But can Mal persuade the reviewers that the green man is no longer a cesspit? All right, gentlemen, in we come. What do you think? It's unrecognised. Nice. Yeah, it, yeah. It's absolutely yeah unrecognized. it really is. Everything just looks so modern, clean. It feels bigger fresh. as well. Draws. Yeah. They've got bottoms in them this time, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels like a completely different place now. Breakfast. Breakfast. Now. <laughs> it's only continental, but yeah. it's something. No, it's nice. Yeah. It's fantastic. Can't beat a bit of porridge, really. Yeah. First impressions are good. Yeah. But would the boys pay Mal's proposed increased room rate? If I said £59 for this room, including breakfast for the three of you, would you pay that? That's a reasonable uh, price for the location. Yeah, take that very... Yeah. yeah? Absolutely. I would definitely change my review on the basis of what I've seen today. I felt very proud showing the rooms and to see their faces and to see their reaction because they were genuine reactions. I, th I thought they really were impressed. Alex's makeover seems to have hit the mark. But will the local businesses commit to coming to the green man? You used to send people here before, Henry. I did. Um, and then what happened? Mm, they were starting to moan and groan, and we had a word. I just wonder, have your perceptions of the green man changed since seeing the new rooms? Forget the past. Yeah. It's beautiful rooms, and I'll certainly start sending people again. Yeah, mm. the rooms are lovely. They're airy, they're bright, and they're modern, and I think that's, that's something that's really key. Mm. We were not aware of this particular place, but after mm. looking at it, Mm. I was very impressed. I really hope that you'll be able to support the improved Green Man. I think Mal's gone a long way to changing your attitude towards the rooms as much as anything else. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right. And I'm sure you'll find a warm welcome. Very good. Well done. Well Thank done, you, Mal. too. Well Thank done. you. Did you find the whole experience incredibly pleasurable or were there any painful moments? Uh, there's a few painful moments, but overall I think everything's been great. I mean, I was a bit dubious to start with, but I think as it's got on, it's got better and better. I mean, it's, it's never going to be five-star luxury. It's still going to be budget, more budget accommodation. Yeah, it's budget accommodation, but I think that if I can get up to all the rooms up to that standard, I think that's, that's really good budget accommodation. I would encourage you now, every time someone stays and has a nice time, to encourage them to write you a good online review. And I have to say, you know, this is now a place that I would willingly stay at the night. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's true. You're welcome anytime. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. He's had uh, plaudits aplenty. I really see a twinkle in his eye. He's enjoyed it. Having Alex come along and Alex go through things has helped me um, it's helped me see things because there were some things that I wasn't even looking at. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. He's got a great template that he's very convinced about. I'm sure he could roll it out across the other rooms. Uh, and then it's a no-brainer. He's got a great location. Why wouldn't it work? <laughs> <laughs>